A giant floating wind farm in the Irish Sea. Is this another one of Boris's wild fantasies that will never come true? It, it sounds more more ridiculous than it actually is. There is research going into floating wind farm. The value of floating wind farms is you don't have to sink the very deep foundations into the seabed. That's both expensive and very difficult to remove when the wind farm's at the end of its life. So if there is a way of doing it uh, with surface, and if you've got a large enough flat uh, thing actually on the ocean surface, it can be quite stable. Then it's certainly worth looking at. The difficulty with energy over the years has been that there are genuinely some brilliant ideas in energy. They don't all deliver. And to put all your eggs into the basket of things that are looking promising at the research stage, but we haven't demonstrated them, is something that probably needs to be avoided. Yes, yes, I'd, I'd, I'd much rather see something that had actually been done and tested on a large scale rather than us, the taxpayer, being the guinea pig. But it does appear, doesn't it, that there is one very big shift, and that is they've decided that if we're going to be a low-carbon emitter, nuclear energy must form a huge part of our future. And interestingly, Keir Starmer appears to agree with that as well. So we might actually get an energy policy agreed by both parties. But just remind me, how long would it take from scratch, say Anglesey, which has been talked about overnight, how long would it take from scratch for a new nuclear reactor or, or a series of them to come online with usable electricity? I mean, at the very best at the moment, you'd be talking eight to ten years. Uh, what we saw after the last big push for nuclear in the 1970s as a result of the oil shock was that when the world nuclear industry got into its stride, we were bringing online in the two peak years, 84 and 85, we were bringing a new nuclear station online better than once a fortnight around the world. So it took basically 10 years to gear the industry up, and then they were delivered really very rapidly. So in terms of the energy bills that we're facing now and in the next five years, new nuclear is not part of the solution. It's not there. But if we don't start at some point, then we never get to the point where it really does start to deliver. No, I take that point in terms of our overall strategy. And, uh, and this is not the Boris Johnson government fault. It's the fault of Labour and Conservative governments over the last couple of decades. Are we likely to get anything that comes out on Thursday that will help alleviate our dependence on overseas energy in the medium term? Well, what I'd like to see is, firstly, more emphasis on energy saving. Of course, one of the advantages of higher energy prices, a dreadful way to put it, uh, is that it does focus our mind on using energy far more effectively. And if that pushes people into insulation or just switching down the temperature of the, of, of the central heating or, or the air conditioning, uh, then that can deliver perhaps 10, 15 percent savings very, very rapidly indeed. But maybe there need to be a few incentives uh, there. There are some uh, forms of energy. You know, I'm, I'm not against more wind. I think the issue with wind is as much to do with its reliability. Uh, last Monday, a week ago at lunchtime, we were getting half a percent of our electricity from wind. Uh, today, it's been up around 40 percent. And managing that kind of difference and still balancing supply and demand is a big challenge. But uh, renewables certainly, I think, uh, can go a bit further before we start really hitting those sorts of, of, of problems. And the other thing, which I don't know whether it will be in the strategy or not, is we do have to look at diversifying Europe's reliance on Russia for oil and gas generally. It would be very nice as well if the Germans would back off from their decision, ridiculous decision in my view, to close five perfectly good, extremely effective nuclear stations. The Belgians have already started to back away from their early nuclear plant because that of itself would uh, make a big dent in the, in the gas emissions and in the gas imports rather that Germany is expecting to incur over the next few years.